What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and uh, today we are back to talk about the 5000 IQ strategy that I presented to you for the last two tech nodes. There were a lot of questions on uh, my YouTube channel on the comment section of that video and I will try to address uh, most of them and most of the criticism that uh, the video faced. In a video that I will also upload today, I'm going to address uh, a few drama situations on the community. People that were saying uh, a lot of stuff in their live streams and uh, I think it's nice to address this because uh, the, the best way to disinfect uh, bad ideas and bad attitude is to expose them so we are going to do that but it will be on a separate video okay so we are going to address uh, the comments that people made on uh, my video and uh, we are going to take a look at the raw footage of me trying to perfect the strategy the strategy right now is i would say around 80 to 85 percent successful there are just a few things that i had to still to practice out and uh, then i will make uh, like uh, the video like this is how exactly you do it in order to be the second node and the third node this strategy is not for the first node and that was a criticism that I got. Oh, I tried this team on the first node and it didn't work. Uh, yeah, I said in the video, this is only for the second node and for the third node. If you are trying this team on the first node, it's not going to work because it's not supposed to work. Uh, other, other criticism was that I'm dumb because Kestrel is the best tech character in the game and uh, against the facts, we cannot argue, right? So that's pretty much it. And other people, they were telling me, oh, I can also one shot the second node or the third node because I have Kestrel at seven red stars, seven yellow stars. And I'm like, okay, con congratulations. What's more common to have Kestrel at seven red stars, seven yellow stars, or to have Lady Deathstrike at five red, five yellow? which was a character that had a very, very generous event and most people ever at four red or even five red, five yellow. It's way more common. And other people said, oh, but you have your Lady Death Strike at gear tier 16. The gear tier, the difference between gear tier 16 and gear tier 15, it's around 1000 additional damage. The difference is not that big. What is big is the level of the character. If you have the character at level 85, you have most of the stats. And when you transfer the, the gear tier from 15 to 16, you get a, li a little bit more boost in damage and in HP. The focus stays almost the same, the armor stays almost the same, and the resistance stays almost the same. Now, e what is more cheap to, ge to gear up? Is it more cheap to gear up uh, Lady Deathstrike that requires two sets of mini uniques and uses Adamantium as unique which is a unique that not many characters that are relevant use? Or is it more useful or common to gear up Kestrel that uses the same uniques as, as Mary Hill and she requires four sets of mini uniques? Some of, those, some of them skill, some of them tech. So Kestrel, she requires the same amount of tech gear that Lady Deathstrike requires plus the same mini uniques that Mary Hill requires. So by investing in Kestrel, you are not investing in these two characters. And I know this because I invested in Kestrel. And then I decided, oh, maybe I should have invested in Mary Hill and uh, uh, Misty Knight instead, because Misty Knight is also very useful for Dark Dimension, not only in Raids and Alliance Wars. Okay, so those were the biggest uh, comments pointed out on my YouTube channel and that my video was also edited and uh, I tried like 20 times and uh, only one time worked. That's why I edit it out and I clip it two different days in order for him to make it look reliable. And this is why today we are going to take a look at raw footage of my attempt yesterday this was yesterday recorded on yesterday yesterday's raid so yeah that's gonna be 
all for now the disclaimer so let's get started and let's look at the different attempts i did and the few things that i changed throughout the different attempts in order to make this strategy perfect okay so here we go this is again raw footage there is no editing there is no nothing this is a clip from my tablet here i also had to double tap the i had to tap the first node in order to help my teammate because he was not able to finish it off and because everyone else was not helping so i had to clear this node and then do the other ones so i think there is some cooldown or whatever here that is not correct so let's see we are using the team that i mentioned missy knight um, shuri lady that strike doom and dr octopus Okay, so we start with the defense up. Okay, another criticism that I got on my video was that uh, the minions didn't spawn next to Captain Sam at all. Now, the swipe of Lady Dead Strike affects three slots. Three slots in the front, three slots in the back. And uh, this, this is impossible, like to say that none of the minions spawned anywhere near Captain Sam or Shen Carter, it's impossible. The the way the characters are placed on the map, it's exactly with this in mind, because one character will spawn here on this side or on the other sides. And Nick Fury can spawn two or three characters. So it's very, very likely, it's mathematically impossible that no characters will spawn anywhere near Captain Sam, it's mathematically, mathematically impossible. It is. If she swipes three, you'll always be able to kill one of the minions. Okay, so let's get started. Defense up, summons the minions, of course, there you go. Ah, another thing, people said that, oh, Captain Sam completely destroyed my entire team. Uh, as soon as he had the ultimate, that I should use Scientist Supreme instead. I don't know exactly what Scientist Supreme would uh, do here, and uh, it makes no sense. Like, Scientist Supreme on the first node, okay, that makes uh, some logic, but using Scientist Supreme here, how that would help your team to survive? Makes no sense. And uh, if Captain Sam is doing too much damage, do you have the defense up from Shuri? And uh, are you stopping Captain Sam from having his turn and from having offense up? Th these are the questions that you need to ask yourself in order to fix the problem. So it's another comment that uh, it, it makes no sense and I don't even know what uh, to think when I read the comments like this. Okay, so we go here. We I was I'm still trying to decide which is the best target to focus on because the vulnerability that we apply is going to be important. And we have Sharon Carter with one deflect that we need to remove and we also have one deflect over there on Nick Fury. All of these are important things. So here you can see that I'm taking time uh, to think about what I'm going to do. Let's actually speed up this because uh, I was thinking about uh, who to attack. So I swiped on... Uh, Captain Sam. I'm still not sure if this is the, the correct guy to swipe on, but it's a possibility. So after with Dr. Octopus, I use the ultimate to flip the, all those positive effects into negative effects. Now this is not exactly important, but on this specific situation, because I had to tap the node before, it became helpful. But once again, it's not necessary. You can still do it without uh, uh, without this on my first video i did it without this okay so with dr doom i use the special the, sh the special is always ready you always have the special full the ultimate might not be full but that's irrelevant because you'll have your second turn anyway uh, so uh yeah let's get started now with the missing knight you can stun an ability block or you can ability block so i thought like uh, okay so because Captain Sam, he has the deflect and he has the block chance. Not only has deflect, he also has a block chance. And in those, do, in those two situations, he can stop you from being able to apply the stun to him. So what would be smarter would actually be to stun Mary, uh, Sharon Carter 
because like these the skill characters will not have offense up whenever they have their turn and you'll see that here it worked exactly that so the best character to stun is probably going to be sharon carter so yeah captain sam had his turn there was no offense up gamora whether she whether he, uh, sharon carter is stunned or not she will always have offense up because she uses the ultimate so we'll up the team, no problem there. Here I use the ultimate to get rid of these guys. I slow uh, Gamora. And here I made a mistake. Here I should have the ultimate because after I'm not able to clear this fast enough. I, I was a little bit greedy. And then you'll see that on the next boss, I don't have my cooldowns exactly ready because of that. Okay, so that guy is gone, Black Panther. Now we are going to try to remove uh, as many positive effects as we can. Now with Lady Death Strike, we turn rewind uh, and uh, remove uh, Captain Sam. Now we focus on uh, this girl over here, uh, Iron Heart, so she doesn't turn rewind us and ability blocks us. And uh, don't worry too much about rescue; just let her go. Just make sure that you remove. Uh, Iron Heart and uh, Corvus Glaive. Another tip that I can give you is to don't apply heal block to Thanos if you can. So you can use his own ultimate to give him more health uh, uh, and uh, on top of the barrier so you can recover the cooldowns. Just pay attention to Corvus Glaive is the guy that you really want to focus on if you can. If you can't, there is no problem. You'll see that I'm going to use the, the special from Shuri again. And uh, I take these guys slow enough to, to get the, the special ready. Okay, so defense up for the second time. We still can't focus on the, the Corvus Glaive, that's fine. And like I said, if uh, I didn't add apply heal block to this guy, I would be able to recover all the cooldowns because I, I got greedy and I used the special of the Lady Death Strike one time that was unnecessary. Now, what I did now using the, the special of Dr. Octopus is extremely important because like this, you will get the charges. And if you finish the node with still some charges on spawn on the boss node, he will have the charges and he will give speed up to uh, Missy Knight and also to Doctor Doom. This is extremely important, spawning with these charges. And this is, it's not RNG based, this is 100% strategy. There is no, so far there was nothing dependent on RNG. Okay, so we apply the ability block once again. I should have applied the uh, the heal block uh, maybe on uh, rescue and yeah i was greedy with the lady that strike there on corvus glaive and because of that i'm not going to spawn with the lady that strike uh, uh, special ready for the next turn so as you saw i took my time i tried to perfect the strategy the stun on sharon carter is better than trying to stun uh, captain sam as soon as you have the ultimate ready from from uh, Doctor Doom, use it, but it's fine for you to use the special first. And as you saw, it's not required, even if you have the cooldowns, it's not required. It's something you can add to make it easier, but it's not required. Okay, let's continue. So this was a successful attempt, and as you saw, I didn't try before, it was one shot. Perfect, clear. Now, on the boss node, we are going to take a look at a different attempt because, once again, I didn't have the cooldowns ready on Lady Death Strike. So, I had to rely on the energy from Shuri to make sure that Lady Death Strike had her special ready. Okay, so no attempts made. As you guys can see, you can look at the time, you can look at the energy I have. And by the way, if you guys want to support the channel, you can become a member. You just press there, become a member, $5 per month, and I will use all that money in cores to refresh these nodes. I don't use the money for anything else. It's just for food and to invest in the game so I can make these videos for you. So if you want to support the channel, I would be greatly uh, appreciated. Uh, and yeah, I don't use money for vanity things. It's just uh, to make better content. 
Okay, so I used the energy I had to go for this node. So we have the full team, we are not going to heal, we have exactly what we had. It's uncutted, as you can see, I show you that uh, it's, uh, I'm not going to heal and it's uncutted. And here we go. So I used the special, I got lucky, I got the energy there. But something bad is going to happen and you'll see that. Okay, so I focus on Doom to make sure that the swipe, the second swipe, will always go in this direction. If you focus on Greg, the swipe can go to the left or to the right. If you focus on Doom, the swipe will always go to the right. If you focus on Hela, which you shouldn't, the swipe will always go to the left. Okay, so there is nothing we can do about that. And like I said, you spawn with the charges on Dr. Octopus. And uh, Missy Knight will have the speed up and Doctor Doom also because of that. Okay, so with the ultimate of Doctor Octopus, we flip all those speed ups into speed down. And uh, unfortunately, we are not able to flip all of them because there are some deflects and other stuff going on. Okay, so a big, big problem is this Captain Marvel over here. She has an amazing ass, yes, that's true, everyone knows. But she's a pain in the ass because she's a striker. And the more health she has, the more damage she will give to you. So we have to pay attention to this. And this is where the strategy right now, it's a little bit iffy. Because I don't know if, uh, I'm not exactly sure if we have to stun the big ass over here. Or if we have to, to stun uh, Polaris or the flat ass over there in that corner. So one of them we have to stun. And based on who we stun, the strategy will improve. Okay, so I don't have the cooldown ready with uh, Dr. Doom and that's fine. We have the speed up from uh, Dr. Octopus and that will help us to get our turn faster. Here, let's see who I decide to, to stun or ability block. Okay, so I stun Polaris and uh, I ability block uh, Dr. Doom. But as you saw, because of the striker isolate, my Dr. Doom got completely destroyed. He was almost almost full health and with the flex and defense up. You see? Completely destroyed. This Captain Marvel here, she's a big problem and this is why we might have to stun her to stop that Ice Await attack. Because the... Damn, that ass. Because the Ice Await attack from Colin Wing is not as bad as the Ice Await attack from Captain Marvel. Because she has a lot more HP than Colin Wing. Okay, so as you can see, this was an unsuccessful attempt. This is why we are trying to fix the strategy. Still, I went for the damage. Just so you guys can see, the damage out output is good enough uh, for us to do this. Okay, so here I was checking who are the characters that have the Isoate attack uh, striker, Colin Wing and uh, Miss Marvel. And that's why we need to fix the strategy. So I stopped the match and now we are going to jump forward to the next match. So here we go, uncutted, as you guys can see. So we are going for the second try and on these next two tries I'm unlucky with the energy for Lady Death Strike. But once again that's my fault because I got greedy on the node before and I ended up not having the, the cooldown ready. Okay so Misty Knight is attacked. She doesn't get the Isolate attack on this one. Now everyone has vulnerability from Hela because she's a raider. There they completely destroy uh, Misty Knight, which is a problem. And here with Doctor Doom is not low enough to get the ultimate ready. So this is RNG. Yes, there is nothing we can do about it. We can play a little bit slower on the next node, on the node before. And this is why I said that uh, I should have done the ultimate earlier. I took two or three turns to do the ultimate and I should have done it as fast as possible. Because even if you don't have energy, there is a chance that you'll get Doctor Doom low enough or the energy from Shuri to activate the ultimate on the second turn. So it's not RNG basis. It, it's something that is extreme, extremely common. Okay, so we continue to see this fail attempt. 
Lady Deathstrike once again with a swipe, applying all the bleeds. We have Doctor Doom under 50% HP. He gets the energy that was missing on the previous turn. We go after the all these guys and uh, something I still have to decide is, is it more important to apply the Disrupt on uh, Miss Marvel or on Colin Wing? Because if Colin Wing has Deflect, she will counter and she has higher damage output with that. So that's another thing that we still need to decide. So who we Disrupt and who we stun in order to perfect this strategy. This is why I said it's like 80, 85% good at the moment. Okay, so as you can see, Doctor Doom is already destroyed there. That attack was unnecessary, so I decided just to do deal damage to, to the other characters. And at this point, I could have just lose and uh, let the land partner to finish the node. Doctor Doom is gone, most of these characters are gone, so if you come with your fresh team, if it's a double tap on this node, it's more successful than most people do. So this is not a bad take. Even if everything goes wrong, you still do more than you do otherwise. Okay, so now we are going to take a look at the next attempt. Okay, so once again, uncutted. You can see by the time that this is everything is continuously and this is the same video on VLC. Okay, so here once again we are not lucky with the energy on Lady That Strike. Once again, it's my fault because I got greedy on the previous node. Okay, so as you can see, I have no energy. Still, we are going to try to make the most out of it, but I should have quitted the match because like uh, the strategy is not supposed to to work without the the special of Lady That Strike. Okay, so we have the ultimate of Doctor Doom on the first turn. I removed the deflects from uh, Miss Marvel. Then I have the vulnerability there, so I go after uh, Colin Wing. Here I try to apply the bleeds for Doctor Doom, but uh, there was some bug there and it didn't work out uh, as well. It uh, it can happen sometimes that when you use uh, the um, the special of Lady Death Strike in very very rare situations it happens that it is it doesn't work. Okay, so as you saw there we ability block Doctor Doom. That's why he's on the yellow and he's not dead, but he still didn't do his ultimate. That's the last resource that you can use in order to to take advantage of uh, Missy Knight. So now we have the stun. We stunned Polaris and we ability block uh, Captain Marvel, but I know this Captain Marvel she's coming with her isolate attack and I don't want that but like I said I think when she's at low health that uh, the damage is not so high so here I should have finished it off and Doctor Doom would be dead but uh, I, I I don't know why I did this uh, but as you can see no problem there even without having the special ready from Lady Death Strike we still did a nice amount of damage and if I would have done the swipe here we would uh, would not be facing this situation. We have still four characters available, so it would be a nice attempt. Once again, like your lane partner can easily clean up this mess easily. This is more progress than most people do on Doom 2.3. This is difficulty three with uh, mostly free to play or easily obtainable characters. Okay, let's go to the last attempt. Okay, so let's take a look at the last attempt, and I'm sorry that I cut that, but uh, I'm, I was trying to press the mouse and uh, I was not finding the right place. Look at the time, this is exactly after the, the other attempt, and uh, yes, I called to get more energy to do this video for you guys. It's not for anything, I'm not doing anything for vanity, it's just to provide the quality content. So here we go once again, and on this attempt, we are able to get the energy on Lady Death Strike. Once again, like I mentioned before, because I was greedy on the previous node, it's not because the strategy doesn't work. Okay, so Shuri gets attacked, that's fine. Lady Death Strike, we focus on Doctor Doom. We are going to double swipe to the right side because we are focusing on Doctor Doom. We apply all the bleeds, four of them, and we flip all of that. There was some. Uh, buffs there that should have been flipped. We use the ultimate with the Doctor Doom, which should be ready from the previous node. 
and uh, we go M on the other character. So we blow up and uh, now we focus on Doctor Doom. I was very unlucky there that Lady Deathstrike attacked to the wrong side. But if something like this happens and you feel like Doctor Doom is going to die or activate his ultimate, you can ability block him. He died with all the bleeds, that's fine. I ability block there, Colin Wing. You can stun instead. My Misty Knight died because uh, she is uh, 4 yellow and uh, four, 6 yellow for red. Shuri almost died, we heal her, we heal her up. Doctor Octopus is still alive, that's all good. So Polaris, she is almost gone. And uh, now Polaris pulls everyone together and that's fine because like this, if uh, in case Doctor Octopus would stay alive, we would be able to give speed up to everyone, not just to the two characters adjacent to him. Okay, so here we go. We are doing some good damage. As you saw there, the the special from Lady That Strike, the Lady Let That Strike, bugged out. I don't know exactly why that bug happens, but it happens sometimes. I don't know if because two characters died at the same time, but. Uh, I don't know exactly. I want to report this bug to to the support, but I don't know exactly how to describe it. Because it happens, but I don't know what triggers it. Okay, so even with that bug, we continue. Doctor Doom is gone. Uh, Black Widow is gone. Polaris is gone. Captain Marvel is almost gone. So this is a very good attempt. This is an even easier cleanup that your alliance could do after so we have the second ultimate with dr doom i didn't use him because i want to use it next and uh, yeah so we can take colin wing out and now we can use the ultimate from dr doom in order to get rid of these guys unfortunately ella is a little bit too low for what i would like to see we are not able to do the double swipe because Hela died. This is something that uh, you want to avoid. You want Hela alive as long as possible. And now we have the minions from uh, Mary Hill. So hopefully we can uh, use them for this. But I didn't pay attention to the clock. And because I'm taking so long to make the decisions and make sure that everything goes right, I timed out. So if I didn't have the timed out, I would be able to do the double swipe again and uh, we would uh, maybe finish off the node. But either way, this is a very easy cleanup that uh, your lane partner can do after. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed raw footage of my attempts to get the strategy perfect. As you saw, I used my own cores and my own energy to do this, to provide you helpful content. And I hope I answered all the questions that people left in the comments and the situations that people left in the comments that uh, I, I didn't knew if people were trolling or what they were doing. Once again, these characters are easily obtainable. Missy Knight, Blitzstore, Lady That Strike had a very uh, whatever event, a very generous event. We have Shuri and we have uh, Doctor Octopus, two very old characters, and uh, Doctor Doom that is from uh, Dark Dimension Four. But uh, we can make a video about free to play way, free to play ways for you to get uh, Doctor Doom. If you guys want to know that, uh, we can make a video about it. And uh, once again, raw footage. You saw everything that I did, why I did what, what went wrong, and the reasons why. And uh, this is not the final video, like next week when I have a full cookie cutter video to show to you, I will do that. But I want to present this raw footage so you guys can be aware of all the situations. So yeah, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like always, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. And I will catch you guys later.